go watch a movie. Aliens, my good sir. Alien, aliens, whatever you want to do. Say, uh, uh, Ridley Scott is back. He wants to do more. Um, uh, he wants to do a sequel, a prequel. I'm sorry, another prequel that that bridges the gap between that prequel world and the um, alien vor- universe as we know it. Um, he says mainly he wants to explore where the aliens came from. Because he said, why was that alien on that ship? And he saw that ship as a warship. And why were they carrying those aids? Where were they going? What was their purpose? That's what he wants to tackle with this next prequel. Hmm. What do you think, sir? I think, I think a little bit of mystery is a good thing. And knowing everything isn't necessarily going to help me like aliens. I like it because I don't know a whole lot about them other than the fact that they're aliens and they're from space and if they get on your planet you're screwed. And that's what <laughs> I like about them. It's like that's all you need to know. I mean spelling every little bit out is probably I don't want to say it's going to ruin it but it's going to take away the imagine like whatever you imagine you know they could be which is part of the scary part because you don't know. So yeah. I hope they don't overdo it you know because you don't really want to overcomplicate you know the story you just mm-hmm. want to give us these crazy creatures and what happens if they you know lay some pods <laughs> lay some pods <laughs> in your place or whatever it's like your screen and sadly like i i am a massive alien fan they just just engulfed my imagination fully and completely so i have i've read like all the novels and all the kind of books and and watch as much of it as i can um, and they kind of tackled this already. Like, they, it, it, you know, it's been done, but I do like your train of thought as well. Cause that first one, if we knew everything about them, it wouldn't have been as, as horrific and horrifying and scary. Like we knew that freaking chest buster was coming after that thing got in your face, you know, a face hugger. Like what? Whoa. Like, well, it would have ruined that, that, uh, that epic moment of it busting out of his chest. So yeah, I agree. A, l- a little, a little mystery goes a long way. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't see them just moving forward with the story instead of going back to explain stuff and then maybe even introduce something new that's, mm-hmm. you know, to surprise us again. So, cause we've already been surprised with the, you know, exploding from the chest and everything. So give us something new instead of just, you know, over explaining what we already got. Yeah, I agreed. Um, more Ripley would be nice, but I think, I think she, she has come out and said, I think the Ripley character will be done with the aliens. Um, so that, I think that was her way of politely saying, I'm done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't uh, blame her. Yeah. Uh, such an iconic role though. And, and especially in a time where there were no real badass her- heroines. Um, uh-huh. just, she just like came out of nowhere and like, Ain't that bad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, such a fantastic franchise. I, whatever they put out, of course, I'm going to watch. Um, a lot of people were worried about the Disneyfication of it because yeah. they're now on that franchise. They own too much. <laughs> <laughs> and if they um, Disney everything up, I mean, it takes away. I mean, maybe they're going to get harder. Maybe Disney's going to be like, you know, maybe Mickey's going to wear his shorts a little low. And, you know, throw Wait, a chain what? on. <laughs> Harden up a little bit. What up, yo? It's, it's, it's Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch a movie.